Ten Americans are under the microscope tonight. They are being rushed back to the states from West Africa, where officials are worried they might have been exposed to Ebola. Roz Plater has been following this news. And Roz, this all has to do with the patient that arrived to Maryland just this week, right? It is all connected. We're told that that patient is in serious condition. And these others that are being brought back either have had close contact with him or have been exposed to him recently. At the Omaha, Nebraska Medical Center, they are preparing to take in some of the Americans being rushed home from West Africa, one of three medical centers where they'll be closely monitored for symptoms of Ebola. So Nebraska, Maryland, and Atlanta. They'll be under quarantine, and if they get a fever, they'll immediately be isolated. Earlier this week, an American health care worker who was very sick with Ebola was brought to NIH in Bethesda. The new patients may have been exposed to that worker. Reportedly, at some point, that health care worker fainted, and some of these people provided assistance, and they all lived in close quarters together in Sierra Leone. Unlike other American aid workers who were flown back to the U.S. for Ebola treatment, the 10 people coming back now are not ill and not contagious and require none of the elaborate precautions against spreading the disease. The reason they're being brought back now when they're not even sick is that that way, if they do get sick, they can immediately get the best care available. Now, to put all this into perspective, the World Health Organization says that, in fact, this current Ebola outbreak has killed some 10,000 people, mostly in West Africa. But the disease seems to be, the number of deaths seems to be slowly, dramatically decreasing over the past few months. Live in the newsroom, I'm Roz Plater, ABC 7 News.